My name is Eric from Canine Heights. I'm going to use Nisu, who's learning the basics here, uh, to demonstrate a few simple things. To start with, we're going to work on the return to heel, teaching the proper heel position. In order to do that, Nisu, come. You need to start with the dog in the front position. So for Nisu, who's going to be working on doing brace and balance work, we want her centered and standing. So right there, she's already used to sitting automatically, so stand. For her, this is what the front position is going to look like. For most dogs, sit. Go ahead. This is going to be what the come position looks like. Centered and facing directly in front of you. Stand. Go ahead. So to teach the return to heel, the first thing you want to do just let the dog sniff a treat. Stand. And you're going to bring them around to your side in a U-turn. I'm going to give the command, heel. And then I'm going to guide her around. At the very beginning, we're going to do exaggerated movements. Good. And we'll fade all of those cues. But we want to set them up for success. We want the dog nice and straight. Good. Now with most dogs, it's going to look like this. You want them to do an auto sit, but again for Nisu, we're going to be doing a stand stay pretty much with all of her positions. Stand. Good. The flip side of this is to teach the come from the heel. A lot of people obviously won't use this on a day-to-day -day basis, but it is very good for teaching the proper stand. Good. The proper come position. The first thing I'm going to do is place my leg out here. This is going to give them something to be able to go around in order to make a nice U-turn and come in straight. Again, I'm going to let her sniff the food, give the command, and then go into motion. Come. Now with most dogs, that's what it's going to look like. Go with her, I want her standing. Okay. Good girl. When you're working with the dog, you don't want to take the food far away quickly. Now they may follow it, but they may get distracted. Whenever we're working with the dog, look at it like having a string on their nose. You want to keep it close enough that they're constantly following it because they will get distracted. Good. Come. Good. So I'm going to demonstrate what it would look like with just a general obedience dog. This is, come. Good. To do the heel. You can take one, stand. Good. You can take one step back. If I'm going to have her healing on the left, I'm going to step back with my left leg, but then bring it back up with me. Heel. So with your obedience dog, that's what it would look like. A nice teeter-totter action. Okay. Up and over the head and into a sit. Okay. Heel. Nisu, that's what it's going to look like. I want her nice and straight. Now, when you're working on the come and the heel, do the heel separately. Once I have her here, I'm going to come around to this side. Heel. Good. I don't want to just do heel, come, heel, come. We will do that exercise down the road, but until the dog has them solid individually, what you're going to end up with a lot of times is when you say come, the dog's going to automatically return to the heel because they're going to assume that that's what you're going to do anyways. They learn through anticipation. So keep those two separate to start with. Heel. Good. Notice I say good. You probably heard of clicker training. It's a verbal marker instead of using a clicker. 
As soon as the dog performs the desired behavior, we mark it with whatever your marker is. We use the term good, and then you treat. Yep. Heel. Good. Now the flip side to teach the come. Come. Good. Nope. Stand. Good. Now, if you were to be doing an obedience dog, it would look like this. Nisu. Come. You would come in, bring the street, treat straight up your body. Good. And then treat. So this is the first step. Obviously, there's more in the progression. But stand. This is a very foundation of the exercise. Hopefully, it's helped you. K9 Heights is a Detroit, Michigan dog training company. I hope that we've given you some useful information and remember to keep looking us up because we're going to keep putting out more content. Okay.